Good morning, everyone. It's Tanya of Cute and Cuddly Nursery. Today, I was looking at um, Sophie May. Let me grab her. This is a silicone kit that I've been working on for someone. So here, here she is. Sorry for the lack of eyes. I don't put them in until later. I've been doing her eyebrows and this paint just it's it spreads rather than staying so I'm gonna have to go over her eyebrows a little bit more but I'm just I really like her coloring but I matted her limbs um, because I'm still working on her eyebrows so I matted her limbs but I found that they were really pale after matting and so here's her little foot her leg so um that's this leg and i actually went over with red on the other leg oh don't want to let them touch um yeah the, this one on the left there we go i've gone over with red again because um just it turned out so pale so um, I have my paints already mixed up here I use um, this is fuse effects um, paint so I'm using natural blush right now to add more color in and so I just have a natural sea sponge that I use to add the red and then I have a latex free I think this is the one I was using latex free sponge that I've ripped off um, the top of another sponge and so I'm using it to um, blot the paint or pounce it and get it um, you know mixed in or whatever um, okay so I thought I would just share how I do this and um, I did prep the kit again after matting um, <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add the add more color. So I've already mixed my paint, which I um, your uh, paint color is your part B, and then part A is your clear. There we go. So. I've mixed those and then to thin it out I use the Mona Lisa um, paint thinner that I use for my Genesis paints as well. So I'm just gonna go over, I hope you can see what I'm doing, but I'm going over my sponge here. Uh, doesn't want to focus on the sponge, oh there we go, okay. So I'm just gonna go over her little foot. Um, and I'm also going to paint her toes a little more as well. So I just take the sponge and I just kind of dab it. Um, I know there's somebody who wants me to do a full tutorial of silicone. Um, this is my second silicone, so I'm not, you know, like, I'm not an expert or anything. Um, because this is my, only my second one I've painted. But I may do a tutorial, um, on the third one. Now, I only have two kits. I can't afford to buy silicones all the time, where a kit starts out at, um, 500 US plus shipping to me here in Canada. Um, it's, it's pretty pricey, so... Um, eventually, um, I hope to do another one, and if anyone is wondering, I am not going to do full bodies. Um, I have one full body baby that I'm going to be working on, and it is a lot more challenging than just painting a kit like, like this one. This one is so easy. I don't, um, you know, have to worry about um, painting half one day and painting the second half the next, so, which is great. I just want to 
I'm just going over the creases here. Um, I would rather just do a kit like this. This is so much easier. So I haven't even painted. I've painted a little, I guess I should say. I've painted a little on the little full body baby, but um, she's a boo-boo. And so I've had to fix her back a bit. Okay. That looks pretty good. Here's what up close on the bottom. So I am I do use the Sam's matting powder. Um but uh I didn't have trouble the first with the first baby of having it lose um, some color. Now I'm doing like the splotchy or blotchy skin, so I'm just kind of going in, you know, little areas, and then I'll use my sponge because I don't want to. I don't want to cover up her whole, you know, skin with red. But I think Toby was more red than this kit. I don't. I don't really remember, to be honest. So I painted that one, I don't know how long ago. I'd have to look in, in her file. I do keep a file on every baby. Every kit, every baby. Um, so I like, I like to ha be organized in case I need to sell a kit. <laughs> so I know I keep like um, every payment um, you know, that I, when I pay for a kit, I keep the payments, I keep record of everything, so that I, if I have to go back and look, I know. Okay, so, um, the, you know, bottom half has had red added, and the top hasn't, so you can kind of, kind of see that she's getting a little bit more life back in her. I know with some matting powders you do need to add a bit more uh, color because they can wash them out. Um, but I was heard that um, the Sam's doesn't really take out the color very much. But I may have left the matting powder on too long before washing the kit. Can you do that? Like I said, I'm just, I'm still pretty new to this. Um, but I think, you know, she's looking really good otherwise. I do find I have to load my sponge a lot more with silicone than I do with the um, acrylic paints um, or is Ultimate Fusion acrylic? I think, I think it's acrylic. But anyway, um, with the air dry or with um, the Genesis paints, this one, you have to load your sponge more frequently, I think. Okay, so now she looks a bit diseased, but we will blend. And like I said, I just take the sponge and I just kind of plot over top here. So I do want to mix all of this in. You get quite a bit of time um, before the paint dries, so I'm I'm working quickly, but not like super fast. So there we go. I think she might need a little bit more on her shin here. Looks a little bit lacking some color. Sorry for the dogs in the background. Marty's always snoring in the background though. Okay, so here's her other leg with more color added and a little hair on there. There we go. So, let's do her hands, her arms. Now, her hands, 
I don't know, I'm not too dark myself, but I feel like she's a little too pale as well. So I just want to go over her um, hands as well. I'm just going to use the brush itself and just add some color here and there. And then I also want to go over her fingers again and make them a little darker. So hopefully this is all I need to do. But I'll look at her again um, before I met her for the second time. I did pretty good this time with the matting. Um, the first time I didn't have any um, shininess which was great. So I didn't have to go over that one again with um, little Sophie May here. She needed a little bit more, so. But it's okay, because I'm going to be matting the, her whole self again. Like I said, it's fine. I feel bad that, you know, she lost some color and I'm having to re- I don't know if I want to use the word redo, but I'm having to go over her again. She did have a has a little hole in her finger here that I'd filled in. It's a little on the pink side or white whitish pink side, so just trying to add a little bit. And her little nail looks like it needs a little bit more color, so let's add a little bit more on top as well. Um, I do try to leave the nails, um, what's the word, um, without the matting, I try to go over them to where they don't get matted, but Sometimes they do, and then I just mix up some clear, just a small thing of clear, and then just put over top of her nails, or the nails. Um, so like I said, this is my second silicone, so I am definitely not a pro at this. I'm still learning. Okay, I'm just going to blend paint and give her some splotchy looking skin. I don't know why I keep I keep comparing these kits to my skin tone and I am just I don't know what to call my skin tone. It's weird. It's very um pale looking and kind of grayish tone to me, so I try not to use my own skin tone. And my husband's at work, so I can't use him. But he'll be here for lunch. But he's got a bit of a, a tan skin tone, so he doesn't work very well for me either. But I'm thinking about, because my each one of my babies always turns out looking different. Unless I painted them all at the same time, right? So, I've had some people tell me that I need to be more consistent with how my babies look. So, because um, I've wanted to do a prototype, but not in silicone, oh dear, um, in vinyl. I wanted to do a prototype in vinyl. However, um, I'm never chosen uh, maybe um, because my babies look different? I don't know. I, um, but I'm thinking of keeping at least one baby. And so right now I have my eye on little Thomas Hour, R, I don't know how to say her, Olga. Um, the little sleeping guy, I'm sure everyone knows who I'm talking about. And I'm thinking of keeping that kit for myself. Or I do have Charlie... Shoot. 
Is it the same artist, Charlie? I can't remember. He's a little preemie, long sold out. I'd have to look on my list of, but I think it's the same artist actually. Older kit though, long sold out, like I said. And um, I've had him in my collection forever, but I don't wanna, you know, didn't wanna paint him until I'd um, gotten better at painting. I, you know, I'm still, I think I'm, I'm happy now with um, my technique and whatnot. So um, I'm thinking that I'll paint him soon. Maybe, I'll, maybe I will keep him, I just love him. But I also, I got rid of my um, Thomas uh, well, not really rid of. I need, we always need money. My husband really wants to go to school to become a uh, fireman. But here, um, I think it's because it's such a big um, city. I'm not really sure, but uh, they don't have volunteer work. And um, the smaller towns around us have volunteer work, but we don't live in one of the smaller areas. So he really wants to go to school um, because you have to be a paramedic to work up to, or to qualify, I should say, um, to be a fireman. So, um, yeah, so he's wanting to go back to school, but um, we, when we bought our house, we had to um, do, you know, we had to put in some uh, new appliances or not, not are they appliances? Um, the hot water tank we had to put in new and the furnace we had to put in new and those were pretty big purchases. Um, and then our savings was the down, um, the, the deposit that we had to put down. There we go. So now we've got to pay off all that loan and get him into school. So, okay. So the one on the right, I just put, um, color on. So the left doesn't have color. Uh, the sun's not shining the best over on my silicone painting table, so sorry about that. So now we will paint the other arm. Um, also, I wanted to mention if you're watching this video and you have it in low quality, like you can't in the, um, I record in 1080p, I think. I'm not sure. Um, it's the high, highest quality on my camera settings. Um, and I do use a Canon SL2 camera. Um, it's, it's a small uh, little SLR and I love it. And the camera quality is amazing. So whoop, if anybody, I'm always throwing my sponges around. Um, if anybody's looking for a camera, um, I would definitely recommend this one. Um, and then of course if you're watching and um, just put it in 1080p and the quality will be really nice. I actually, I like painting silicone. It's just that it takes forever though. Like you can't just, well some people will force dry and I don't I do not force dry because I've heard some uh, I've heard some artists say if you force dry the paint might not um, like adhere very well and it could eventually come off and I definitely don't want any of the paint to come off so that's just what I go by like I said I'm not Definitely not a professional at this. This is my second baby. But I have applied the same um, techniques. I use the um, primary method to paint these silicones. Um, so I start out with a yellow and then I do red and um, blue. So and then all of my layers are done with a sea sponge, just like um, the vinyl. 
Okay, oh, I see a little dot of paint. There we go. I don't want any like little dots staying there. And then make sure that in between the fingers is painted. Let's see, I missed a little, uh, just a touch here. And then I want to add a bit more color between the knuckles there. Sorry for Marty snoring in the background. He snores... I found that he snores mostly when he's awake. <laughs> My husband thinks he needs a pipe cleaner to the nose, but I don't think that's it. His muscle is like from between his eyes to the end of his, the tip of his nose is only one inch, exactly, which is hilarious. He's got a really tiny nose, a little muzzle. All right, so sorry if I'm taking too long, but you can go ahead and skip ahead if you want. Um, I'm just doing the same, same thing here that I did with the rest of her limbs. I'm just trying to get all that blotted and mixed in. You still want to see a little bit of the pattern, um, but not a whole lot. Alright, that looks good. There's a little dot there. And then, like, I'm definitely not going to do silicone very often. I'm going to take a break after these two and regain my sanity a little bit. I just get really discouraged a lot um, when things don't go as well as I expect. But I think that um, a lot of people have that same kind of kind of thing happen with them as well when something doesn't go right. Or as expected, I should say. Um, Alright, so put a little bit up here. This will probably be covered by her body. And I still have to make her a body as well. I've been using this um, material it's it feels like a really like soft luxury like bath towel really nice and um, I found it on Etsy and it's it's bamboo fabric and everything and that's what I used for the first silicone's body was that um, towel like material and it is so soft and it's white, so, you know, if you had an outfit on the baby and the, sh the body showed through, it wasn't so bad. It was nice. Okay, I'm just trying to look at these and make sure I did okay. It looks like the toes could use a little more color over here. Just... I don't know how I can turn this. I hope I'm on enough. <laughs> there we go. All right, just want to make sure. I'm going to go over them um, double checking um, before um, before I'm done here. So I'm just going to add a little bit more color to her cheeks because I'm worried that she's going to lose color on her cheeks when I get there. Okay. I'm always saying how nice it would be to have three hands because one could hold the sponge while I paint it. <laughs> All right. There we go. So now it's adding a bit more.
more color to her face. There we go. So now I'm just gonna blend that in. We want, like I said, we want to keep a little bit of the um, pattern because it looks like, you know, natural skin would look blotchy, especially for babies. There. And then I think I want to add a little bit more on her forehead too. Just a little bit. And then just a little, like here and there near the eye. There we go. I think she looks pretty good. So her nose will be a little bit, um, not as red, I guess I should say. I'm just trying to think if I want to paint her lips a little bit more. If anyone has any suggestions, like how to... Um, paint the inside of the mouth. Um, I saw somebody had put a toothpick in to keep the mouth open. Um, however, when I did that, I found the paint just, it pooled where the toothpick was. So I'm not really sure, like, I don't want any, you know, po pooling paint. I have painted the inside of her mouth a little bit, but I think I have to go over it some more as well. I'm just adding more paint to the inside of her nose and then dab her blot off what I don't want there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then maybe a little bit more under her chin. This poor <clears throat> paintbrush. All right, maybe a little more inside the ear. So I have a bit more paint left. So I might as well, if I can use it, put it to use. Try not to touch her as much as possible. I have gloves, but of course they're latex and you can't have latex around silicones, otherwise the silicone won't dry. That looks really good, so oh, I dodged her. I don't think I did anything, but just in case. Okay. It's like from the heat or something, right? The little splotchy skin, I think. I don't remember. It's been a while since I had any babies. I just want to make her around her eyes a little bit more red because from experience with the um, arms and legs, I want her to have some color. I don't want her to be drowned out um, after matting. So um, I do have a wig for this baby um, that was a request um, because otherwise I don't know how to root silicones. Um, I did root the eyebrows on Toby, which was pretty amazing. And I didn't know um, how to keep them down. I was constantly like trying to keep them down, keep them down. And you know, um, Joanna um, Kazmierczak, I have no, how to, no idea how to say your name. Um, she said, um, in one of her posts that she siliconed down the eyelash or eyebrows, sorry, so that they would, um, or that you, you know, you don't have to worry about keeping up the eyebrows. And I was like, wow, that's genius. So I ended up doing that with Toby before sending her off. And, um, it just, yeah, I'm just kind of like, why didn't I think of that? You know? <laughs> so anyway, um, 
She is the Sophie May by Toby Morgan. My second Toby Morgan silicone. <laughs> um, but her babies are just adorable. So um, there is a, um, this is the awake version and there's also an asleep version as well of this same kit. And if you're looking for kits, uh, I buy mine from Sherry Bowden on Facebook and her prices are wonderful. She has layaway. Um, she's great to work with. So I highly recommend her. So I am now going to let Sophie May dry and then I'm going to work on my vinyls again. So thank you all so much for watching and I hope you're having a wonderful day.